Hey guys, it's Exical here, and today we're going to be talking about Govi Glides, a brand new Govi product that is a direct competitor to LifeX lights. So let's go ahead and unbox them, and I'll talk about how I feel about them. As always with Govi, the boxing and the design on the packaging just always looks really nice and sleek. To get it open, all that you have to do is lift the front tab, and then you're presented with a few things. The first thing to know are the manuals and just Govi's little promotional things. Not a huge deal. Next up, we have the two boxes that contain the power brick and also the power cable. We're going to be opening up these later. Finally, we have the main star of the show, the Gobi Glide Lights. They come in a six pack in this package. And as you can see here, here's everything completely unboxed. We have our power cable, our power brick, the glide lights, and the little glide connector. So now that we have everything unboxed, let's go ahead and throw them up somewhere and we'll talk about them. As you can see here, these bars have special connections to where they snap together, and they also have double-sided tape on the back already. So I went ahead and snapped a design, and then I chose this place on my wall to put them up. I decided instead of connecting them on the wall, just to put them on the floor and connect them, and then tape those up when I could, so this is what I'm doing right here. After I got it all lined up, I made sure that I put nice even pressure on all the bars as much as I could because I wanted the tape to stick in all the areas. This is especially important for me considering I have popcorn walls and nothing likes to stick to them. Next up is just plugging in the power cord, which is as simple as clicking it into the bars like you do with the other bars. I would like to note that you might want to pay attention to where you're putting the bars because the plug can only go into one side of them. And the final part is just plugging in the lights. Once you have them plugged in, you're going to notice this white light go throughout the whole bar. And if they go out through the whole bar, then all your lights are plugged in correctly. Now that we have them up, let's go ahead and set them up in the app. Once you have the Gobi app open up, go ahead and click the plus button on the top right corner of the app and then look for the indoor lighting tab and then scroll all the way down until you see the glide light. These should be underneath the wall lights category if you're having trouble finding them. Once you find them, all that you have to do is click on the lights and then they'll start connecting. The first thing you're gonna have to do is name the lights. I went ahead and just named mine glide lights for the time being because I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be keeping mine right here or not right now. Next, you just have to enter your Wi-Fi info. Mine's already pre-saved because I already have a ton of Gobi products. Once your app's all connected, you're finally able to access and control all the effects of these lights, so let's go ahead and go over them a little bit. The first function of the app is just your DIY color mode. The color mode allows you to select segments and pick colors out of those segments. You can also choose the relative brightness of each segment too, which is a really nice feature that I like that they have included. This is also where you can choose and pick from colors on a color wheel along with save them in your favorite colors, and you can also pick something like if you want your colors to do a gradient or do an abrupt stop. The next page we have is the scenes page. The scenes page consists of Gobi's pre-made scenes for all of their products. Normally these consist of things like really nice smooth animations for your lights or they also just have some predetermined set colors. If you own any other RGBIC items from Gobi then you will recognize most of these scenes as they come with their LED lights and other RGBIC products. But these lights do come with their own special scenes too which I think is really cool. Unfortunately while a lot of these scenes are cool you aren't allowed to edit many of them. The colors are stuck where they are and on top of that there's just not a lot of customization when it comes to these. If you're wanting customization, we're going to be talking about the next tab, DIY. DIY mode is where users can make and create their own content and lighting effects. This includes animations, colors, and a lot of other things. You're able to save and favorite all of these and on top of that you can look at other people's DIY creations and use those on your lights too. And then finally we have the music mode which just reacts to audio. Now that we've gone through all of these and the setup, let's go ahead and give my thoughts on this product. Overall, I'm really, really impressed with the Gobi Glide Lights. At a price point of $80, these are a definite LifeX bars killer. If you're looking at the LifeX bars, you're going to be looking at a price point of around $150. And the really crazy thing about that is that the Gobi Glide Lights are the exact same amount, exact same length and everything, and you're paying almost half the price for them. I own both the LifeX bars and now the Gobi Glide Lights, and I can say that there is absolutely almost no difference between them besides Gobi Glide Lights are a little more rounder in shape. Otherwise, when we're talking about the color options, animation options, smart home functionality, and many other things that you're looking for in an RGB light, especially for your setup, up, you're not missing out on anything. Now where the Gobi lights really really shine is the software functionality. Compared to the LifeX app, Gobi's app is a lot better. 
LifeX's app is nice and it works, but it is really cumbersome, it's kind of annoying to change scenes and other things, and animations are pretty lackluster. Gobi's app has been developed for a ton of RGB products, and that means they have a ton of support with it. The app runs smoother, it feels smoother, it's a lot easier to change scenes and other things, change colors, and choose your favorite colors. So if you're looking for some really unique RGB lights that you want to add to your setup, especially some really futuristic looking ones, I would highly, highly recommend checking out these Gobi Glide lights. These glide lights add a really nice future punk aesthetic to my setup that I really really enjoy and I think it just looks downright amazing in my setup. And that's going to conclude my review and unboxing and thoughts on the Gobi glide lights. If you're looking to buy in these, make sure to use the links in my bio because using those helps me out and you also get a nice little discount for using them. I really hope this video helps you decide if you want to buy the glide lights or choose them over the Life X bars, which I would highly recommend buying these over. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and see ya.